Okay, so today I'm going to show you how to use a crippled original iPhone with that, like, broken part of the screen problem. See, look. When you go to the phone, the one where you can't dial star zero and pound because that stripe on the screen doesn't work. Now we're going to get around this using a VNC server. You may have seen the VNC viewers on the App Store that allow you to connect to your computer with an iPhone and you can see the computer screen on your iPhone. Well this is just the reverse of that. So enter Cydia. If you for some reason do not have your iPhone jailbroken you can see one of many other guides on the internet. I'd recommend just restoring with the custom firmware white door. You won't get the app store, but you can just download the apps you've already purchased on your computer and sync them to it. Cydia on the older devices usually takes a while to load. That is my illustrious home phone. If you can hear it. So you go to search and as you can see you type Vinci up there and wait till it's done loading. Conveniently enough of the keyboard works that you can type V E E N C Y and search for it and as you can see it's the first thing that shows up now I already have it installed you're gonna wanna hit install say hi to the dog hi dog you're going to want to install it using the button up there I've already installed it so I'm not going to waste your time with that go to settings It's going to make you reboot the device, by the way, after you're done installing it. Go to VNC and make sure to scroll it down to a place where you can hit it. Now, if you don't, watch what happens. If you do not have a password, then it's going to connect and you're not going to be able to hit the button and see, watch this. It tries to connect to your iPhone. You see remote access request. You would accept. You can't hit the button because it's over the spot you can't hit. How convenient. So what you must do is you must go back to VNC settings and make a password with the top and middle rows. I like to make mine pi. Then You, get, you will need your iPhone's IP address for this next part, your local IP. To get it, go to Settings, go to Wi-Fi, and see your connected Wi-Fi network. Push the little blue arrow, and your IP address should show. That is your local IP. 192.168.1.193 is mine in this case. And next, I will show you how to connect to it via the computer. Next, you're going to want to, oh, that's my phone. You're going to want to take the IP address you got from your iPhone. You're going to want to, uh, if you don't want to download real VNC or type VNC, you can always use a Java client, such as the one at this site. I will put a link in the description. Anyways, you click here. You type in the local IP address you got. It asks you for the password. Oh, oops. There's another thing. If you leave your, if you turn your iPhone, if you lock it, Wi-Fi disconnects. So make sure you do not do that. Anyways, there you have it. Now you can see your iPhone screen on your computer. 
the right mouse button goes home. The middle button locks, even though I have no idea why you'd want to do that. One weird thing is you must type in the password on the phone itself, and it's actually a lot smoother if you look at the screen of the device itself. If you look at the screen of the device itself, it's a lot easier to control. And also, you can finally type with the middle row. Woo! And the phone is none the wiser. Another cool thing you can do with this is you can open the camera. And you can be all like, whoa, remote camera. That's a cool thing you can do with an old iPhone that you're not using anymore. You'd be like, whoa, that's my closet. That's my awesome background. So, that's it for regaining use from a, a crippled second gen iPhone, or not second gen, 2G, first gen iPhone. Next up, Android. Comment, rate, and subscribe.